Hello and welcome back to another series of Your Raw. I've been sent in another image by one of my Facebook members and a friend of mine which I've met a couple of times up in Wales and one or two other places. And it's uh, sent in by Alia Lloyd Edwards. He sent me in this photo. Now I recognise this where this, this image is taken and it's just going in the steps up towards um, Linnidwell uh, at Linogwin, so um, in North Wales, and I do believe that 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 is a trifan in the the back left side of the image there, with the light hitting it. I literally opened this image, quick look at it, and I thought I'm gonna gonna go a fresh go at this and just see where we end up with the image. First obvious things are is the two signs they've got to go. They've got to go. But we've got some nice sky and a very dark foreground. So obviously we're going to bring out that foreground and we're going to pump the shadows pretty much right up. I don't think we need to drop the highlights. Maybe, maybe a fraction. But I think what we'll deal with first is the signs. We've got to get rid of those signs. Okay, so we will get rid of those in Photoshop. So we've got it in Photoshop. I'm just going to duplicate the lay in case I make a mistake. So I'm just going to select the um, remove tool. We can we can paint all over it, or we can actually draw round the thing that we want to remove which will select it all and then remove it, hopefully. And there you go, fantastic job. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I might, just, I might just try that again. Let's just do this one. Do the same with this one, draw around. I'm just gonna zoom in on that other edit and see if it's actually done a, a decent enough job. That looks good. Let's just zoom in on this one. Yeah, the wall looks a bit tricky. It's, it's missed a bit here. I thought it had. I thought it had gone a bit, a bit AWOL. So what we'll do is we'll just come back out. Sorry, wrong button. We'll just give that another go, actually. We'll just see if that improves any. It's making this area a little bit strange. So this is going to be a challenge. Let's remove that barbed wire there, or that wire. We'll remove it there as well. This part isn't too bad, but I'm not over keen on this. So let's just see if it can produce something a little bit better. The other option we've got is the generate fill, which might work better. So if, if this doesn't work, we'll try that. That's better already. It's starting to blend in quite nice. Um, not too sure on this bit here. And there's a little bit there, which I haven't even touched as well. Let's go back out. Or maybe it was the edge of it. There's a bit there and there's a bit there. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try generate fill. Let's do, no, we can't. Just going to draw around that area there and generate. Let's see what it comes up with. That's better. That's a little, we're getting there. We're starting to get there. I'm going to try this one. This end is still a bit strange around by the steps, I must admit. So we'll just draw around them steps again. But we're starting to get there. And there's a little, see a little sign here that I need to get rid of as well. So we'll have a go at that in a second. That looks so much better. We're getting there, we're getting there. I think what I'm gonna do is try once more and just select the wall. That part there and just give it one more go. That's better to me because how it blends the, the large rocks into the small rocks. Um, let's just come out a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to grab the um, remove tool again and I'm 
just going to slow that background and we're just going to remove that little bit there. So we can obviously see the before and the after what we've achieved so far which is quite good. What we want to try and do now is trying to give it a bit more depth and a bit more contrast but I don't want to use contrast to do that. We can do, we can we can just up that and do, but I want to use it in, in my method and my way. Let's just have a look at, I'm, no, I'm happy with the highlights there because there's not actually many highlights, mid-tones there might be. Shadows, we can bring up the shadows again. Um, now we could do that to a degree and then drop the blacks back down and that will actually give it a little bit more definition. But we can also bring the highlights up. Obviously doing that, it's blowing the sky out. So what we're going to do is, if we select sky, and it should select it really nice actually because there's a nice clean line there on the mountain. And then we invert, select in the foreground, and then we can work on the foreground. So now we can work on bringing them highlights up a little bit more. Shadows, I'm going to just bring up even more, but drop blacks down and we can bring up the whites which is really starting to make this image quite a nice image actually it's looking really nice um, the next thing I'm going to do is is try and make this golden light a little bit more golden so we'll just not the filter off there we're going to go to saturation and obviously bump up the golden lighted areas there and if we wanted to bring up the luminosity of them them yellows them golds and them greens we can obviously bring up the luminosity which i don't know whether you can see that but on the mountain top it's really starting to glow quite nice that's nice and then obviously if we wanted to just make it a, a, a more sunset type glow we can change the U or more of a midday glow but I'm going to keep it pretty much as it is to be honest. I want to, I want to bring detail out in this, this pathway that leads you up. I want to sort of highlight it a little bit more as well but just before we go there we're just going to work on a bit of colour grading. Um, if we go, just bring them highlights up, just put a bit of warmth and that bit of warmth will put that into the cloud. I know the sun comes from that side and, and comes in so we can give it a more of a afternoon type feel to the image but not go overboard. I think that's actually quite nice, that, that bit of a glow coming through. We can also, by giving it more definition, bring up the mid-tones a little bit. Again, we'll give it a little bit more contrast and drop down the shadows. And that is looking quite nice, that is. So now we need to get into the um, some more local adjustments. What I'm going to do is, first of all, we'll just do a bit of sharpening, sorry. So we'll go to the sharpening. If we just up the amount a little bit, click on the Alt button on our PC and just adjust radiuses and things like that. So we'll drop the radius down, bring the details up a little bit and then And I'm looking more in this area for sharpness and then we'll just up that sharpness to suit there. So we're really bringing lovely detail out but I'm st I still think this foreground is quite flat so I want to emphasize the the detail and I'm going to do that by 
painting some highlights in and some shadows. So we select a brush, we're going to up the exposure and the, the temperature slightly. And we're just going to paint on the top of these rocks there. Just carefully paint on the rocks. A little bit more glow where the gate's coming through there. That's quite nice actually. We'll, we'll just have a look at what we've actually changed already. Quite like that gate area there. And we'll just do a, have a look at a before and after. So that's really punched that path out, but we want to do a little bit more. So if we select another brush and we're just going to put some shadow in there. So if we drop down the exposure slightly and what I'm just going to go over the shadowed areas and make it a little bit more detailed just around them areas there. And while I've got that darker brush, let's say I'm just going to darken the edges as well. There we go. Now then, there's a couple of things that sort of are tracking my eye away. And that's this, this warmer area here is bringing my eye away from the actual pathway that wants to lead me up and through. Um, so I'm actually going to try and darken that down a little bit. So if, if I grab another brush, I'm just going to drop the saturation down a little bit, which should just drop that glow down a little bit. And if I just warm that temperature, that glow's gone from there and now I want to put a bit more emphasis on the light here so I'm going to grab a, a radial filter work from where that light's casting on there but quite a big one and a big feather so we'll just really bring that right in there and if we just up that exposure there slightly, a little bit of warmth there, could go a touch more there. And what that's actually doing is highlighting the gate. And if we have a look, that's making a lot of difference. The other thing I'm going to do is something similar, but in a different area is another radial filter where the sun is coming from. We're just going to emphasise that light a little bit as well by again up in the exposure. I tell you what, we want to. We'll leave the exposure. We'll do it with a de-aze. So we'll just so we we'll get that nice soft light, and then we'll just up the temperature there as well. There we go. But I don't want it to come onto this mountain. So what I'm going to do is subtract luminosity, click on that mountain range there, and hopefully that should subtract that area. We can now mask and then we can just punch that up that little bit more there. And then finally, I'm just going to, we'll just have a look at the full frame, see if that's Pretty good, yeah, that's quite nice. Just want to bring out this path a little bit more by darkening the area around it. So again, I'm going to select another brush and I'm going to do it again, nice and big. There we go. Certainly this area here that's uninteresting and this area here. We'll go big around the top there. 
and we'll we'll just have a look at a before and after again. So that's that's the original image. Actually, it's not the original image. That's the original image. And that is nearly our end product. Not quite finished yet, because what I want to do is just put a bit, bring a bit more detail out in this footpath. So again, we we'll select another brush, uh, texture, bang that up a bit, and where we want the eye to travel. I'm going to make it a little bit sharper and that's that's bringing the gate out beautifully and I'm also going to sharpen the mountain side there maybe just a little bit too much where are we so just drop it down a little bit there that is nice that is nice we've got a little bit of a glow beyond the the gate there, and I'm wondering if I can work with that so I might just drop on a radio filter on there Subtract luminosity, select the gate if I can. There. There we go, there we go. And then we'll just bring up the exposure a little bit. Like so, a little bit of warmth there. That's very nice. The other thing I'm just seeing is, is I think we just need to crop it. I think we've got a, just a little bit too much sky. I think if we crop it as a 16 by nine, I think it's gonna work better. We might even be able to go all the way down, maybe to, to there, let's have a look. I think that looks better. I think that crop looks, definitely looks better. I'm just gonna do a little bit more colour grading just all I'm going to do with these slides is just work them a little bit and see if we can just change things up a little bit see what they do basically okay very very slight little adjustments there so we've definitely brought the gate out a little bit more as, as best we can. It'd have been nice to bring it out even more. But pinpoint that brown colour. Okay. Yeah. And then we can adjust these areas a little bit. Just try and bring that gate out a little bit lighter there. Or we could drop it down, make it darker to stand out. Let's just see. Okay. Obviously it's changing other areas as well, but we could get more local if we wanted, but I actually quite like that. It's brought brought the gate out a little bit more. There we go. Now the other thing that's sort of frustrating me a little bit is this bit of grass down here. And I'm tempted to remove it. So I think we'll just we'll head back quickly into Photoshop and probably remove this little sheep there as well. So we've just got that back. So the difference from start to nearly finished. And then we're just, just tweaking it right at the end of the finish. I am, I'm just want this area to stand out that a little bit more, I feel. I think we can still try and pull it out a little bit. So I'm gonna select another radio filter just come over the this highlighted area that like so we'll just oh 
the exposure just slightly up the white slightly which should work better with a little bit of warmth there we'll just have a look at oh that looks better the only thing I'm going to do is subtract luminosity we'll grab something darker there just so it subtracts the the shadows there that works better that works better with that I'm just going to darken down this bottom edge to give it a little bit, a bit more vignette around this area here. Okay Lord, thanks for sending me that in. I've really enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed that because it was a little bit of a challenge. I'd just like to say as well, if you join my members area, there's a little join button either that side or that side. I can't remember now. I join that area. I do some behind raw where I go into detail a little bit more with edits and it's a, like I say it's a little, more, a little bit more in depth editing as you get previews to all the videos before they actually come out and some, some certainly some of the editing videos will only be for the membership area. So if you fancy joining that it's $1.99 a month and I'm, I'm trying to build a nice community up there as well so um, we may have meets and giveaways and things like that. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.